सेंट थॉमस इंग्लिश मीडियम हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल क्लास फिफ्थ सब्जेक्ट कंप्यूटर बाय रिचा गर्ग हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस क्लास रूम लेट स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर नंबर टू डेटा स्टोरेज डिवाइसिस चिल्ड्रन इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल स्टडी इनपुट डिवाइस एंड आउटपुट डिवाइस even children we will study memory in that binary digits primary memory rom and secondary memory children do you know what is data storage devices a storage devices is used in the computer to store the data the da a data provides one of the core and functions of the modern computer this is the work of the children data storage devices children a computer performs various operations with the help of certain input memory and output devices all these devices together are called computer peripherals children let us understand about them input devices the devices through which data and instructions are entered into a computer are called input devices children a input device convert the data and instructions into electrical signal into the electrical signal that are recognized by the computer that electronic signal that computer only can recognize okay children some input devices are used to enter data directly into the computer other other call pointing devices are used to point and select options on the screen children you must have learned about the following input devices in class 4 right they are keyboard mouse trackball joystick light pen scanner web camera digital camera microphone and children now we will study two more devices that is graphic tablet and touch screen so children let's study about graphic tablets first graphics tablet children this is a graphic tablet a graphics tablet consists of a flat surface on which the user may write a word or draw an image using a special pen called a stylus the image generally does not appear on the tablet itself but it displayed on the computer monitor so children this is a work of a graphics tablet now children let's move to touch screen children this is a touch screen a touch screen is a computer display screen that recognize the touch input a user interact with the computer by touching words or pictures on the screen touch screens are used in automated teller machines that is children atms in tablet pcs in railway and airport terminals for arriving and departure inquiries in hospitals for access for accessing patient record and for many other ways children we are using touch screen so children this is a work of a touch screens output devices the devices that are used to get the output from a computer are called output devices children you have learned about the following output devices in class 4 visual display unit that is a monitor video we call it as a speaker headphones projector children now even you have learned printer also but we will learn more about printer and video okay children 
So let's start with BDU first. That is a visual display unit. Visual display unit that is VDU. A VDU is similar to a TV screen and can display both text and graphic images. The output shown on the VDU is called the soft copy. A VDU is also known as the monitor. The size of the monitor is measured by the diagonal length of the screen. Example, we have 11 inch, 14 inch, 15 inch, 17 inch, 19 inch and 21 inch monitor. Okay children, now children, let's move to printer. Children, this is a printer. A printer provides the output in a permanent readable form on a physical medium like paper or transparent film. The printed cop output is called the hard copy. So children, printed output is called the hard copy. Children, printers are of two types. Impact printer and non-impact printer. Now children, let's study about first impact printer. Children, this is an impact printer. An impact printer, a printer head strike on a head strike and ink ribbon, which is turn strike the paper to make a mark on the paper. This means there is a mechanical contact between the print head and the paper. For example, children, impact printers are dot matrix printer, daisy wheel and line printer. So children, let's study about dot matrix printer. Children, this is a dot matrix printer. Uh, uh, the dot matrix printer, the printer head contains a number of pins arranged vertically. As the print head moves in back and forth motions across the paper, some of the pins are pressed against the ink ribbon to form a pattern of dots on paper. Children, a dot matrix printer can print multiple carbon copies. Therefore, it is used for printing receipts or bills. Children, so for printing receipts and for bills, we are using this printer. This printer is low and noisy and gives low quality output. Nowadays, it has been largely replaced by non-impact printer. So children, this is a work of a non-impact print. This is the work of a dot matrix printer. Okay, children. Now, children, let's move to non-impact printer. Children, this is a non-impact printer. This type of printer, there is no mechanical contact between the print head and the paper. Examples of non-metric printers are inject printer and laser printer. So, children, let's study about inject printer first. Inject printer. Children, this is an inject printer. An inject printer is the printer that print head sprays extremely small droplets of ink on the paper to form the desired character or image. Children, this printer prints faster and has better printing quality than a dot matrix printers. However, children, the printer has a tendency to smear if it is gets wet. So children, this is a work of inject printer. Children, this is a laser printer. A laser printer produces an image of the desired character on a drum. The roller is passed through the powdered ink called toner. The toner sticks to the part of the drum that were hit by the laser beam. Finally, the characters are, characters are transferred to the paper through a combination of heat and pressure. Through the combination of children, what? Heat and pressure. 
A laser printer is very fast and produce high quality printout. So children, this is the work of a laser printer. Memory. Children, do you know what is memory? A storage capacity of a computer is called a memory. Memory enables the computer to store data, instructions and information. Data are the facts, figures, words, etc. that we want the computer to work on it. That is data. Instructions are the command that tell the computer how to work on the given data. That means instructions children. And information means children. Information is the result or the output given by the computer. That is the meaning of information. Okay children. Now children, let's move to binary digits. Binary digits. A computer works with only two digits, 0 and 1. The data input into the computer are first converted into zeros and ones for the computer to understand them. These digits are called binary digits or bits. A bit is the smallest chunk of information a computer can work with. A computer language repeated, represents, represented in bits is known as a binary language. Eight bits make up to a byte. A byte is denoted by B. So children, one byte is equal to eight bits. Children, you can see the table of binary digits. The memory of a computer is represented in bytes, that is a byte. Byte is a unit of measuring computer memory. The higher units of memory are given in this table. So children, go through with this table. 1 kilobyte is equal to 1024 byte. 1 megabyte is equal to 1024 kilobyte. Now, the next is 1 gigabyte is equal to 1024 megabyte. Next is 1 terabyte is equal to 1024 gigabyte. Next, 1 petabyte is equal to 1024 terabyte. So, children, these are the binary digits numbers. Okay, binary digits table. Now, children, Let's move to types of memory. Types of memory. There are three types of computer memory are there. Primary memory, secondary memory, read-only memory and secondary memory. So, children, this is a chart classification of computer memories are there. Let's start with primary memory first. Primary memory. Primary memory is also called internal memory and is the main memory in the computer where data, instructions and information are stored. Children, this memory can be directly accessed by the CPU. A CPU can also children directly access this memory. The CPU access the memory in the random manner Hence, we call it as a random access memory. We call it as a random access memory or RAM we call it as a. Okay, children. Now, this CPU can access data from RAM only till the computer is switched on. If the computer is switched on, children, then only it can access the data from RAM. Okay. Now, children, as soon as the power to the computer is switched off, the stored data and instruction disappear from the RAM. Okay, children, this kind of memory that loses its content when the power is turned off, this is called a volatile memory. Okay, children, children, RAM is also called read-write memory as we can read information from it and also write on it. Okay, children. Now, children, let's study about read-only memory. That is a ROM. 
children this is a read only memory that is a room that means room room is a memory from which the information can usually only be read children in this we can only read the information okay that is why it is called a read only memory that is why we call it as a read only memory this memory children can also be directly accessed by the cpu a cpu can also directly access this okay children the data and instructions stored in a room are retained even when the computer is switched off this kind of memory that retains its content even when the power is turned off is known as non volatile memory okay children thus rom has a feature of both primary memory as well as the children secondary memory secondary memory children primary memory is a volatile and has a limited capacity right children so children it is important to have some other form of memory on which data and programs can be stored even when the computer is turned off children this secondary memory or external memory is where programs and data are stored for future referencing this is called auxiliary memory this memory we call it as auxiliary memory children it is different from primary memory in fact in the fact that it is not directly accessible by the cpu means children a, a cpu cannot directly access this memory and is non volatile the secondary or external storage devices has a much large storage capacity this secondary memory or external storage device has a much large storage capacity so that we can store many things in that okay children example of secondary storage devices are floppy disk hard disk cds dvds blu ray disk flash drives so children let's see about let's learn about these devices let's start with first floppy disk children this is a floppy disk a floppy disk is made up of a magnetic disk in a square plastic case in addition to storing data it can also be used for transferring data from one computer to another okay children floppy disk are available in two sizes children okay for floppy for using a floppy disk children a floppy disk drive is needed you need to have the floppy disk drive then only children you can use this floppy disk this storage device though very popular at one time so children this floppy disk was popular during their time in now hardly used nowadays hardly people are using this drive using this floppy disk now this floppy disk has been replaced by cds and dvds okay children now children let's move to hard disk children this is a hard disk a hard disk is a part of a unit called a hard disk drive which store data hard disk drives comes in a different storage capacity example 320 gb 500 gb and 1 tb children a hard disk is made up of a collection of disk okay which you call it as a platters which we call it as a platters the platters are coated with a magnetic materials and each platter consists of a number of invisible circles called track we call it as a track the track are further divided into sectors these tracks are divided into sectors 
children data are recorded on these track in the form of tiny magnet spots okay the presence of a magnetic spot represent the bit one and it absence rep represents the bit zero okay children so this is the work of a hard disk now children let's move to cd rom this is a cd rom a cd rom compact disk read only memory this cd rom also consists of a track and sectors it can store up to 700 mb2 of data children okay it can store up to 700 mb of data cd rooms are available in many in two two main forms okay so children in two main form cd rooms are available so cdr that is a compact disk recordable that is a data once written on it cannot be erased it can only be read so children this cdr we can only once the data is written on it children we cannot delete we cannot uh, edit that data okay children that is what cdr do now cdrw that is a compact disk rewritable so in this children data once written on it can be erased to write or record new data many times so you can children many times you can rewrite or the data you can edit the data many times so it is also called an erasable cd okay to use a cd rom a device called cd rom drive is needed so you need a children cd rom device okay children now children let's move to dvd this is a dvd a dvd is also called a digital versatile disk this dvd stores up to 4.7 gb of data children it looks similar to a cd to use a dvd children a device called dvd rom drive is needed so children you need a dvd rom drive to use this dvd okay children now children let's move to blu ray disc children this is a blu ray disc a blu ray disc looks similar to a cd or a dvd but can contains up to 25 gb of data so children this blu ray disc can store up to 25 gb of data it is similar to cd and dvd okay children to use a blu ray disc a blu ray reader is required if you want to children use this blu ray disc you need a blu ray reader some higher models of laptop have a blu ray disc so some high quality of laptop is having a blu ray reader okay children now children let's move to flash drive children this is a flash drive a flash drive comes in various storage capacities example 1 gb 2 gb 4 gb and 8 gb it can also be used to read write delete or transfer data it is widely used nowadays because it is easy to use and small enough to be carried around in your pockets so children it is like you can you take it anywhere it is very small you can take it even in a pockets also and take it anywhere to use a flash drive a usb port is needed device is plugged into the usb port or a computer so this is a work of a flash drive children open your textbook page number 27 question number 1 filling the blanks with the correct words a1 the computer works with only two digit 1 0 and 1 call the dash digit what did what we call it as a binary digits okay children now let's move to b1 one byte is equal to dash bits so one byte is equal to 
bits. Okay, children. Now, children, let's move to C1. The memory that loses its content when the power is turned off is known as dash memory. Volatile memory. That memory, we call it as a volatile memory. Okay, children. Now, children, let's move to D1. Dash and dash are memories that can be directly accessed by the CPU. So, what will come, children? RAM and ROM are memories that can be directly accessed by the CPU. Now, let's move to next one, E1. Dash drive is a portable device used to store, access and transfer data. So, what will come, children? Flash drive. Flash drive is a portable device used to store, access and transfer data. Children, let's move to question number 2. Write T for the true statement and F for the false one. Let's start with A. ROM is a volatile memory. False. ROM is not a volatile memory. Now let's move to B1. T-R-O-M, E-P-R-O-M, double E-P-R-O-M are the types of ROM. True. Let's move to C1. Floppy disk are now not used for data storage. True. D1. CDs, DVDs and Blu-ray discs look similar. True. E1. Once the data is stored in the pen drive, it cannot be erased. False. Children, we can erase the data again. Okay, children. Now, children, let's move to page number 20. Page number 28, question number 3, write one word for the following. A1, a special pen attached to the graphic tablet that is a stylus. Okay, children. B1, it is also known as a VDU. What is what we call it as a VDU? Monitor. Monitor is also known as VDU. Okay, children. Let's move to C1. This type of printer is used for bulk printing. So, it's a laser printer. Laser printer is a printer used for bulk printing. Let's move to D1. The memory that retain its content even when the power is turned off. So, what will come, children? Non-volatile memory. Okay? Non-volatile memory that retains its content even when the power is turned off off now let's move to e1 disk that are present one below the other in a hard disk what will come children platters okay children now children let's move to question in question fifth children choose the correct option a it is the smallest chunk of information that a computer can work with one bit 2031 4 byte so it's one bit so children tick on bit first one bit is the smallest chunk of information that a computer can work with okay children now let's move to b1 it is a volatile memory that is it loses data when the power is switched off so what will come children one ram two room 3D, CD, 4 DVD. So, it's first RAM. So, children, take on RAM. RAM is a volatile memory. That is, it loses data when the power is switched off. Okay, children? Now, let's move to C1. The storage capacity of a computer is called dash. 1 CPU, 2 binary digit, 3 memory, 4 peripheral. So, it's third memory. The storage capacity of computer is called its memory. So, children, tick on the third one, memory. Now, children, let's move to D1. Which one is not a secondary memory? 1 CD, 2 DVD, 3 ROM, 4th pen drive. So, it's third ROM. ROM is not in secondary memory so children tick on the third option that is a room 
Now children, let's move to E1. 1 MB is equal to dash 1, 1024 bytes, 2, 1024 KB, 3, 1024 GB, 4th, 1024 TB. So it's children, second one, 1024 KB. So children, take on the second option, 1024 KB. So 1 MB is equal to 1024 KB. Okay, children?